juice it has out of the box. All right, now you turn on this thing. Here. Let's see, that's input. 12 volt solar. That must be the AC power. So that's for charging it. And some more outputs over here. DC output and some USB ports. Okay. And AC output. So I am going to say there's no power in it when it arrives, which is totally fine. Four panels. All right. The cords are back here. Wow, we got cords and adapters. Which one do we need, I wonder? I'm gonna say the one that came with it. Man, there's so many. Well, this one looks like that. I think I need an adapter. This is for a battery. Okay, this one's got that. I'm looking for things got two of those. This one's a maybe. Ah, this looks like winner, winner. Hey, bud. You want help? Ah, ha, ha, ha. Check. Check. So it's one or the other. Ha. Check. Okay. You got input. I think we're getting about 18 watts. See how long it takes. Well, now we're getting 71 watts. It says 339, and I don't know if that's how much power is left or how much till it's charged. All right. <clears throat> All right, it's been nearly an hour. Ooh, feeling hot, all right. If I have one quibble so far, it's the size of this screen. I'm used to the EcoFlow. The numbers are this tall on the EcoFlow. My old eyes, I love it. These are about that big. Still got 80 watts going in. All right, we'll give it 45 minutes. All right, 45 minutes. Oh yeah, 32%. Let's see, it's this big. It's like an 18 point font. Update, it is now 1.15 in the afternoon. I started this around 8.30 in the morning. And so sun's pretty much right overhead. So now we are reclining and actually getting about 99 watts right now. Um, I just dipped down to 96, but it was 99. Let's see if we can get it so you can actually see. I can actually see it better decently at this angle, but um, yeah, 99 watts and 50, 59% capacity right now, right down here, 59%. Oh, look at that, 102 watts. Yeah, it's pulling them in. Starting to run out of uh, sun because the shade sail, shade sails, starting to shade, but it is. 307. Let's see where we are. 87%. All right, I'm going to see if I can rearrange these panels because we are because we are getting 63 watts now. All right, I rotated everything about 45 degrees and we are getting 98 watts again. Uh-oh. Running out of sun. Ninety-nine. Ninety-nine percent. It's five o'clock. So close. 
and we're getting 38 watts with this uh, shade. All right, running from the shadows. I've got it up on the bar and the kickstands deployed, which is one thing I like about this one compared to the Rock Pals one I have. It has four kickstands, whereas the uh, Rock Pals only has two. So it's much more stable. Unfortunately, we're also getting some cloud cover this afternoon, so it's really reducing the input. We're getting between 30 and 46, depending on where the clouds are. Still at 99, I think that's 99%. Actually, the sun just popped out again and we're getting 88, 86, 88%. 65, yeah. All right, so one thing I wanna test when I'm here is my new um, All Powers bank and it's going to have one job. Its only job is to power the fridge. So right now looks like nothing going out and I think that's because the compressor hasn't kicked on because according to the fridge 13 volts are incoming. So it is powering it. When I tried it out at home uh, when the compressor uh, turns on it, it takes about 68 to 70 watts for, you know, maybe 60 seconds, 30 seconds. There it goes. Compressor just kicked on. Uh, it's only pulling 44. Interesting. And hopefully to keep it topped off, I do have the solar hooked up. I just have it running um, out the passenger door and I put the solar panels on the windshield, but yeah, we're pretty much in full shade right now. <laughs> so not surprisingly, no energy going in right now. Let's check on the uh, all powers bank. Let's see. Uh, it still says 100%. It's got a uh, 62 watts going out now for the fridge. I can't see how much is coming in, but I don't think it's much, but it says um, six, hour, six and a half hours left. All right, still trucking. See how we're doing. <laughs> it's only down to 90%. It's seven o'clock at night. That is amazing. All right, let's see how the all powers did after Charging the fridge all night, no solar. Move my trash and my dirty dishes in here. Don't know if it was the smartest, but we didn't have any visitors. Maybe I was just lucky. Ah, uh, 63%. Yeah, so definitely keeping it on the solar was helping to keep it topped off. But still, 63%. Not bad. I rolled the windows up last night. <laughs> Bozo. Try this again. Much better. So it's almost uh, 9 a.m. And uh, the power actually went up to 68%. It was 63% when I got up this morning around um, 6 or 7. So that means the solar panels are taking some in. Yeah. It's unfortunate that the display doesn't show you input and output at the same time. Maybe there's a way to toggle between them but I have not found it yet. 
Well, it's about 1030, so that is 24 hours-ish. And um, let's see if this power bank situation achieved its goal. We still have 66% of our power left. So, yeah, it did great. And I'm sure, you know, keeping it on solar whenever it's sunny certainly helped. So, um, yeah, that was cakewalk. I would trust it to um, try a few different things. It did great on the fridge. Fridge is pretty low draw. Um, I'm curious about how it would do with like a, a heating thing, like a kettle or something like that. 